get to watch all of the shows that I work on, so I'm I'm working through Blood Plus. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but it's true. I'm, I'm totally trying to get the second half of the series right now, so. Okay, thanks. I'm glad he mentioned Ray, Ray and Sage from Tales of Symphonia. He wants to speak like there's no ruins around here. Oh. <laughs> but, um, I guess the question I want to ask Obviously, there's a lot of people who look up to you as a professional voice actress, but what other female voice actresses or even male voice actors do you look up to regarding performances or just voices? Um. <laughs> best known, obviously, for doing the voice of Spongebob Squarepants. And, uh, I mean, in, in the world of voiceover acts, acting, that's, that's pretty much Elvis status, you know? And uh, so the fact that he's, he's one of the most successful guys in the business, and yet he's so cool, and he's so willing to uh, help the new actors um, he's just amazing. So I would say he's, he's probably my, my little hero. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Uh, I think somebody mentioned this before, but I mean, the versatility that you have as a voice actor, I mean, you, you almost never sound the same twice. Um, what are some things you do just to be able to keep yourself fresh every time? And then when you find a character, I mean, what are some things you do to, you know, completely blow it up? Um. Well, it's, it's kind of interesting because um, I'll have people say, well, do you ever get tired of you? Oh, you only get cast as these scrappy characters. And then other people will say, do you ever get tired of getting cast as just the, the mature, sexy characters and blah, blah, blah. So I, I find that it tends to go in waves. Um, I've been lucky enough that I've gotten to do a number of, of different kinds of voices. but. Um, it's just whatever, I mean, it's a terrible thing to say, but, you know, you just go where the work is. And sometimes I get cast out as one kind of character, and, and sometimes I get cast as, as something else. As far as just preparing for a character, um, it depends a lot on the circumstances. If I get the script in advance, uh, I love to study. Uh, I love to study the script. I like to get an idea in my head of a couple of different ways that I think that character is going to, to sound. Um, Sometimes I'll have feedback from the director as far as we, we may be going with an accent with this character, we may not. Um, and then, you know, part of it's a collaborative process too, because when you're preparing for a character, you can never get locked in on one thing, on one interpretation. Because once you get into the studio, you've got the director there, you may have other clients there, you may have other actors there, and you have to be really open to them saying, Okay, we've decided we don't want her to be British, we want her to be uh, American. And we don't want her to be 30, we want her to be 16. So, go. You know. So, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, I do as much research as I can, but also I just think it's very important as an actor to go in and just be flexible. Thank you and enjoy it. Thanks. Short life is never easy. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> Wear heels often. Okay. Uh, yeah. Greetings from Ontario, Canada. Which I'm from. Eh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, as your role in the, the Nog 
character, uh, is it Taeyuya? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh. How did you um, like playing that particular character? I loved playing that character, that character, and the only sad thing was that apparently in the original Japanese, she swears like a sailor. And so they would not let us do that. <laughs> That's yeah, what she said, exactly right. she just said, oh, I will they play my food again! <laughs> so, yeah, she was fun, but uh, it was kind of sad that we had to tone her down a bit for, for the... Uh, that's one thing about Americans, they tend to take things more extreme than others, you know, they uh, cut episodes out, or they cut them to ribbons. Yeah, oh, I hear all the grumbling. Uh, on behalf of the anime industry, I would like to apologize for any cuts and tweaks that have been done to your favorite anime. You can, you can nail me to the cross after the panel. Maybe act with the autographs. Uh, Barbara, Barbara Goodman from, uh, from uh, Power Rangers says hello as well. Oh, very sweet. Hi, Kari. Um, I've been a fan for you for a long time, and I have two questions. I was wondering if you remember the two scenes from Fully Kui, the manga scenes? Uh, I remember them as far as trying to recreate them now. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, um, well, my second question was if we could do the script together. And if, I've been dying to meet you to do this. Uh, well, it's uh, kind of up to you. I would say it's up to your fellow attendees. <laughs> because I don't want to start any riots, so... <laughs> right. Okay, come on over and sit with me and we'll, we'll share a microphone here. <laughs> okay, so now... The H's are me. Okay, now... <laughs> Thanks a lot. 